Yo, we just came home to all of the puppies being in the cage with her. Literally. I jinxed it. Ooh, boy, the soul. Now his pop, baby. I mean, it, yes, I do. Never had nobody loving me the way you do. Partners are soulmates. What's up, partners? I'm Naya Meek. And I'm Cornetta. And you're watching Group, Group Partners to Soulmates. In this video, you're going to see a bunch of, in the beginning, you're going to see a bunch of huffing and puffing hecticness because as soon as we walked in the house, she had her puppies. Yeah. Literally, it was about what, six days sooner? We didn't have any of the uh, necessary equipment so that we can have her proper birth or delivery. It, it was rough, but. We got about three weeks of footage of pretty much from the moment they were born to them walking. And opening their eyes. And eating that first food. Right now in there three weeks and y'all gonna see all that in the video. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. We didn't get to catch it on camera, babe. Oh, and you literally said we're gonna put it in the cage just because she has her babies. You feel me, though? We literally just got the pool. We just ordered the stuff on Amazon. I told you it could. I knew it could happen early. What did we do? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I smell poop. Well, oh, he did poop, though. I smelled it. Yo. And I see blood, I'm like, they tucked up under her. They need to make sure they're all alive. Oh my goodness, come on. Look at some gloves. Oh, we got like one pair of gloves. We literally just said we're going to watch some videos. And we're going to watch some videos. Also watch videos tonight. Stuff coming in the mail, the whole kit for the whelping process. It's not even here yet. We don't have nothing prepared. Nothing. So what should I do? I don't know. This crybaby tail got the nerve. Oh my goodness. I jinxed it, babe. I knew I played. I said she had her babies. And you said, ooh. And I was like, I'm playing. I really looked on the camera. Oh my this dude, we just had to clean him this morning for dude and it's all over explosion. That's why he don't have his bed in there. Now he got more and we really gonna have to clean him again, brother. And first of all, he crying. He just had baby a father now. I don't know why he crying. Too old. <laughs> you know, he, doing, doing grown man stuff. You over here crying. Right. Pooping in your bed still. She was somewhere comfortable. She was uh, trapped in so Nico couldn't mess with her. She feeding them now. They latching on. They look healthy. Praise y'all. Hallelujah. She cleaning them now. They said she lived through everything, so she ate the sack. She ate all everything. She, she ate the sack. Cleaned them off. Yeah. I don't know. Just let's see what they say. Hey, we left the house and our uh, our dog just had her babies. Um, we don't have any of the the welcome kids. It's supposed to be coming in the mail in a couple days. You want to know what to do? We have a basket, we have a towel, we have a blanket, but we just you know, we don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, they pushed She want her puppies. Tell them we put them in the basket, but she crying for them. Okay. It's okay, no, no. You on boards? I don't know. That's a boy. Well, we gotta cut that. That's a girl. That's a girl. And that's a girl. It's one boy and three girls. Mr. Holding. Hey. Hi, um, so mom should actually um chew it off after a few hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a little yeah. string hanging. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one pooping. 
One of them is pooping. Okay, we'll move is it. Is that poop? It look like. Yeah, that is poop. Oh, it's so tiny. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, so literally just keep them warm and, and let the mother do everything? Yes. So as long as mom is doing her job, um, you guys shouldn't have too much concern. Um, but if you at any time have any questions or something looks off, then you can always give us a call. Steal all the food. We got Crybaby Sam in here locked away because he pooped in his bed we were supposed to wash him but he just won't cooperate and he ain't crying like a like a little puppy like he's one of them dude you got kids in here why is you crying relax trying to keep her warm he went to go get a heating pad so that we can you know keep them all warm but she doing really good so i gave her two heating pads i got her two got him locked up now he cries Still crying. Mama been holding it down. Mm -hmm. Doing really good. You see that one sleep? Show the sleep. We got one that's sleep. They're fed. They're not crying no more. They were crying nonstop earlier, but now they're warm. We got the air turned off. We just gave her a little bone. I'm a treat. I'm surprised she's eating it. Me too. She must be real hungry. Got her water right here. Like, we literally had the setup for her. She was due Sunday the 18th. See, that just proves like they can have, an, have their babies at any time. I jinxed it, though. I lived here. Made a I joke, was, yes. I was like, oh, my gosh, you have the babies. Yeah. She probably was at the time, and that was, you know, the most I let you know. I really looked at I was like, let me check on them. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, you have babies. I'm like, who? Like, I <laughs> I know you don't talk about my dogs at home. She, you telling me she not due till Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just glad the vet said it's pretty much hands off. Uh, we don't really got to do too much. We thought we was going to have to do the syringe. I guess all of that is for like emergency purposes. Yeah, and, 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 and that, <laughs> they're not eat, eating, but they all seem like they're not even eating. That one just sleepy. Right, that's that's going to be a tired one. It, no, it probably ate already. Mm -hmm. So it's probably fed. It's one of them that, that keep eating. Like he really stopped it. He's trying to get all the milk. It's a good thing we stopped and got food before we came home. She literally was supposed to cook tonight, but then something told her that she wanted some food out. Didn't feel like cooking or whatever the case, but everything happened for a reason. Babe, I was saying it's a good thing we stopped and got food because then we'd have been hungry. I think this is the smallest one, baby, and he's still hungry. I'm gonna just let him keep eating. I'm trying to put it in the middle. He got it, he got it. Cry, baby, Sam. You look good, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You really do. This is very shocking. <laughs> Like, I came home, I said, somebody pooped again. Like, I smelled it. And I just see all this blood in her bed. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, Nani was saying. They don't want to do it around people. They probably, yeah, she wanted to do it on her own time. Now she eating her some food. <laughs> she was staring at Nico, watching him eat his kibble. And now he crying because he want her food. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, girl, eat that food. I literally prayed on the way here that he give us some guidance and tell us the right things to do in each moment. And it worked. <laughs> he is upset that he got to be in that cage. <laughs> you upset, Nico? You upset? Well, I'm sorry, you can't get out. Okay, so now we transition them to upstairs in our room so that we can keep an eye on them all night. They gotta be fed every two hours. Got Nico up here locked away. 
Because he's a wild child. Mama right here, she tired. Three sleep if you're in one still trying to eat. How are you just sleeping? Alright. Yeah, this one. Which the one you said gonna have white hair? Damn, no, I think it's actually this one there. Hey! Girl! <laughs> you biting the hand that's feeding you. You better relax. That's okay. This one right here though, you see? Mm-hmm. You know better. Cause I guess I came in too hard. Too fast. Yeah. Still eating the cord and all of that. Oh, we got to take that off at night because he likes to bite the handles. This is her cage right here. All right, so we about to try to call it in for the night and go to sleep. No, not tired. Rotated the babies the best way we could for the night. Hopefully they'll be all right. Well, I'm sure they will, but. That's it. Hectic, but it ended pretty peaceful. All right, y'all, so right now we are at a vet. A, not an appointment, but an emergency vet clinic. Uh, it's called VCA, but um, it's about eight o'clock. And uh, mama back there was worried that, you know, something may have been wrong because the puppies were crying or making noise when they feed. And, you know, her and her research and stuff scaring herself. They say that there may be a problem if they're, you know, crying when they're feeding. So we're just here pretty much to ensure that everything's okay. And the vet pretty much is saying that that's normal um, as long as it's not all day crying you know but we're still going to get the technician to come out here and validate it because they're talking about charging 150 dollars per puppy and she has four of them if anything we'll probably get her checked and if she's good then we know they're good but we, we i feel like they're good we feel like they're good now you know hearing what the vet just said that it's normal got her vitals take, uh, taken at the vet, so she's fine. The vet said that the puppies are fine, that behavior is normal. The things that her body's doing is normal. So everything's all good. Get in the bed with your babies. Need a break from them. Like they be scratching at the same time. Look at that one. Said they pull, they push against so they can like stretch it up. You know, like. All right, y'all. So this is an update of the puppies. They growing. It's now Wednesday, and we still got Crybaby over there. Anyway, the puppies are growing. This is the smallest one. That's what they call the runt. This is the biggest one. You can kind of see <laughs> what they're working with. And she is 221 grams right now. She was 210 this morning. So she is growing very well. <laughs> and we still got a little one right here. Started off at 157 grams, but now we're in 171. So she growing. So today is actually Friday. And it's the fifth day that they have been here. Day five. And I'm about to show y'all how I weigh them. Wait, no, no. All right, partners, today is day 13, and around the second week is when they begin to open their eyes. But green right here has already started to squint. You see it? Oh, dang, it ain't focusing. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. And it'll get, I can see it now. Okay. Yep. <laughs> 
He's actually trying to walk them. Their eye, all of their eyes are open. All of their eyes are finally open. And they, that one right, look at that one. She's trying to walk on all fours. They've been starting to bark a little bit. This girl is born. Someone's having a fit. I was hearing a bunch of crying and came in here. One of the dogs done got out, done climbed out the pool. And now she crying. Look at her trying to go. She walking. Look at her. Oh, put her back. trying to go she's trying to climb out again the little babies is really growing up they finally are able to chew on a toy now earlier they was chewing on each other Cause Nora's starting to feed them less. All right, partners, we thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked it. Uh, if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what it was. It was just a bunch of feeding the entire time. Yeah. Now she's starting to get tired of them, so <laughs> that's starting to slow down some. So we will update you all in the next four and a half weeks when it's time for them to go off to their new owners. Yep, stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Peace. Thank you.